The Comb Pal Scissor Over Comb Guide is a double-sided comb with seven different length attachments from a quarter inch to two and a half inches. Simply attach the guide to the middle of the comb and lock it. With our model here, we use a one and a half inch guide to cut the top. The way to use Comb Pal is very simple and straightforward. As you see here, just slide the comb inside the hair and make sure the guide sits up straight on the scalp. The comb pal with the guide underneath maintains the length you've decided and shows you how much to cut. You can use point cutting or straight cutting to create different textures. Plus, the comb has double-sided teeth, allowing you to comb the hair forward or backward, up or down. And left-handed or right-handed people can use it equally well. As every hairstylist knows, scissor over comb is an important technique for good hair cutting. If you do it right, it gives you a softer look and not a freshly shaved look like you get with clippers. Since this technique is freehand cutting, it is easy to make mistakes and takes time to do it right. It needs a lot of practice. That is why a lot of hairstylists still like using clippers with a guide to cut short hair. But now, with this Comb Pal Scissor Over Comb Guide, it makes the technique much easier to achieve accuracy and consistency. Now we switch to the 3 quarter inch guide to cut the back and the sides. To blend the different lengths together, we use the natural curve of the head shape in between the top and the back. Without following the curve, move the comb straight up and cut the hair off until there's no hair to cut. Because the comb is long, big and flat, when you place the comb on the scalp, it shows you where the curve is, how much to cut and where to stop. That will protect you from cutting it too short or too high, which is a common mistake to make with clippers. As you see, by using Comb Pal, it helps you to achieve your design more accurately and with faster speed. Now do the same thing on the other side. Now we switch to the half inch guide to cut the side shorter. Again, as you can see, just place the comb on the bottom of the side and move it straight upward. It shows you where to cut and how much to cut. All the different lengths will blend together in two curved areas of the head shape. One is between the top and the side, and the other one is between the side and the back. This way, even with shorter lengths, the haircut still looks nice and straight on the side. Now do the same thing on the other side. We also use the half inch guide to trim the bottom of the back, to make it a little more taper looking. Now here, when the comb is used without a guide, the comb itself equates to a quarter inch. We use that to clean up and finish all the hairline. Compared with the clipper, Comb Pal can do much more, like texture cuts, longer length guides, and angle control. While the clipper cuts the hair evenly, Comb Pal allows you to use scissor point cutting to create texture. Plus, the longest guide that the clipper can reach is about one inch in length, but with the Comb Pal, because it uses the scissor over comb technique that can control the hair a lot better on longer lengths, which is up to two and a half inches, that allows you to have a lot more space to create different styles. Plus, you can move the guide backward or forward to make different angles to protect you from overcutting the guide length. We will be showing you this on our next longer hair model. Overall, with Comb Pal, you'll be a lot happier to use your scissor over comb technique and enjoy a more balanced, softer finishing look. It's time to set your mind free to create and let your tool handle the accuracy. Have fun!